This lesson is on what a linear equation is. And the answer to that question is essentially a linear equation is any pattern of numbers that is either increasing or decreasing by the same amount every step of the way. This means that the only two things we need to define a linear equation are where the pattern begins and how much the pattern moves by. What that leaves us with is what's called the slope intercept form of a linear equation where the m value is our slope and the b value is what is called the y intercept. Some examples of a slope intercept form equation are we could have something like y equals 2x plus 1, we could have y equals negative 3x, we could have y equals 2 thirds x minus 6. In each of these equations, the number in front of the x represents the slope or how much it's moving by, and the number on the end represents the b value where it begins or the y-intercept. If there is no number after the x, that implies that the y-intercept is 0. So what's the point? Why do I care about a linear equation? Well, Linear equations are the most common patterns of numbers we see, and they really are great for describing all sorts of situations you see all around you. Um, one example is having to do with the car that I bought. As soon as I turned 16, I would parents helped me buy a used car. When I bought my car, it had 27,000 miles on it, and I've owned it for a while now. And every year I drive it about 12,000 more miles. And so what we end up with is a linear equation to represent the situation that looks like y equals 12,000 x plus 27,000. Because I drive it 12,000 more miles every year, so that's how much the pattern moves by, and the pattern began at 27,000 miles when I first bought the car. So after year one, it had 39,000, then after year two, it had 51,000, then after year three, it had 63,000, and so on and so on. Drawing a graph of this linear equation can help us make a lot of predictions about what this pattern is gonna do in the future, and it can also give us a better sense of the pattern that might not be quite so easy to see just from looking at the numbers. When I want to graph a linear equation, I use the y-intercept, the b value, as my beginning value on my graph. And before I had owned the car for a single day, it already had 27,000 miles on it because I got it used. Then, after one year, I was driving it along and after year one, I was up to 39,000 miles. Then I kept driving it, kept driving it. After year two, I was up to uh, 51,000 miles. So every time I go over one year, I go up 12,000 miles.